friends, I am Madhura. Welcome to madhurasrecipe.com. Today I am making eggless loaf cake. Now this recipe is very similar to uh, my eggless sponge cake that I have posted earlier. Pretty simple. Just uh, put everything together and we don't need to use any condensed milk or butter. Pretty simple. You can just make this from scratch. So over here in a bowl I have a cup of uh, yogurt. This yogurt is at room temperature. In that I am adding 3 quarter cups of powdered sugar. A teaspoon of uh, baking soda. And 2 teaspoon of baking powder. Now give that a mix. As soon as you put in uh, baking soda, this uh, soda starts to react with the acids from this yogurt and you can see nice bubbles start to appear. Now let's just keep this aside for 10 to 15 minutes. I have a one uh, preheating at uh, 180 degrees Celsius that is approximately 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I am going to preheat for exactly 10 minutes and also over here I have this uh, bread loaf tin. This is uh, 9 by 5 by 2 in height. Uh, this thing I have greased really well using some oil. Pan is ready. Now next over here I have this uh, half cup of uh, tutti frutti. Now in that I am adding just a teaspoon of plain flour or maida. Just lightly coat this tutti frutti with this maida so that uh, when you put this tutti frutti in a batter it doesn't settle down at the bottom of the pan and it gets evenly distributed along with batter. After 10 minutes of resting you can see that this ba batter has turned nice and foamy. Perfect. This is what it helps to make this cake nice and spongy. Now I am adding half cup of oil in this and quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Give that a mix. And next to this add in 2 cups of all purpose flour. We are going to sieve this directly into this wet mixture. And 4th teaspoon of salt. Adding salt is optional but it enhances the taste of this cake. Sieve, sieve that. Now with the help of spatula I am going to fold this maida or all purpose flour with this wet mixture and now to adjust the consistency I am adding just a 2 tablespoon of milk give that a mix look at the consistency it looks nice and soft and add in this entire tutti frutti Again, mix that in. Now let's transfer this batter into a loaf tin. Just with the help of spatula, spread that around. Make it nice and even. And now pop this in preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius for around 40 to 50 minutes. Now again everyone's oven are different so keep an eye on that. And over here this uh, eggless uh, loaf cake is been baked for exactly 50 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. And also it's been resting for about uh, 20 minutes now. So let's take this out. So first loosen the edges. Perfect. Take a dish and just flip this up. Wow, look at that. Good. Just remove this wax paper. Lovely. Now let's slice this up. Look at the 
texture. Lovely. Perfect. And it makes really nice, soft and moist loaf cake. And it's perfect uh, tea time snack or tea time cake. This cake stays really well in a refrigerator. Just when you are ready to eat, just take a slice out from the refrigerator. Put that into a oven toaster, put little butter over it and it's ready to eat. I actually also freeze it. It freezes really well. Just put the slices into a ziplock bag and make sure that you vacuum seal it. And it stays good for a very very long time in the freezer so that you can make quite a lot loaf at a one time. So if you like this recipe, please hit the like button. Also remember to subscribe. So that whenever I post any new recipe on my YouTube channel, you will always be the first to get informed about that. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.